Hi everyone, welcome to my channel ICT Active Learner. If you are new to the channel, subscribe it and press the bell icon for any notification or whenever a new video is uploaded, you will be notified. So, <clears throat> I am explaining here the Cambridge IGCSE ICT 2020 May June Paper 2 presentation part. So in this part of the video they said you are going to create a short presentation. Our slide must have a consistent layout and formatting. So create a presentation of six slides using the file J2222 Tourism. So I will open PowerPoint here and I will open the file and then I will just simply go to desktop and find the files tourism so here we go now next step that unless otherwise instructed the slide must display a title and a bullet list okay so use a master slide to display only the following features so let's go to the master slide master and then let's go to the top this is the master slide now next step is to a three to four point thick horizontal line across the width of a slide about three centimeter from the top so three to four point so it is like for example you can see here it is like one to three centimeter very less so <clears throat> we'll just insert a line i mean a shape from the lines and then for example just like this i will draw this straight line okay and the color of it i'm going to for example change it to black and the weight of it i will just go to more and mention here for example 3.7 so that it is more thick okay just like that three centimeter this line is or we'll just move it a little bit down that's it now moving forward to the next step about the line into the text support coastal tourism in a large black font just copy this one and then you need to enter the text over here so just click on insert and then get a text box from here okay just draw the text box and enter the title as they mentioned okay <clears throat> it should be larger font okay i'm going to increase the size of this uh, text box and the font i'm going to increase it to maybe 32 okay and then it says that should be black font aligned to the top right of the slide. So this is going to be the top right of the slide. That's it. <clears throat> and then make sure there is no text wrap. So there is nothing. Automated slide number on the bottom left. So the slide number should be here. So we will remove this one and we will move the slide number here okay and then we will also click on insert header and footer and then you will just click on the option called slide number so it is visible and then your name center number and candidate number as well so in the footer i am going to write my name then my center number and then candidate number just like this apply to all and i am moving this to the right of the slide just like this so the page number should be left align so home and then just click on left what else then we need to have master slide item may appear in same position on every slide no item overlapping this is done now click on view and then click on normal view so on every page it will appear exactly in the same location okay one thing which okay yeah that's fine i guess yeah now 
using the data in the file j2222 boards.csv to create a vertical bar chart. So we will just go to the folder boards and we need to create a vertical bar chart. So for vertical bar chart, what exactly we need to select here as they have mentioned the name of countries on categories axis and the values for 2022 only. So the name of countries and the values in 2022. So insert a vertical bar graph just like that. And then after label the chart as recreational boards in Europe. Okay, just copy this one. And this is going to be the chart title. Then value access title thousands and then country, category country. So we'll just bring our mouse cursor here and access titles. So this is going to be country. Okay, copy this one and then just change this one to country. And this one is going to be thousands. So we'll just enter here thousands and then display only the data value at the top of each bar. So data values on the top of each bar. So just go here, click here and then data labels and then on the top of each bar as you can see and that's it. The values are appearing here. Next step, we need to format the value access scale now. So we just click here, then right click, format access. The minimum value should be zero, as you can see. And the maximum is going to be 1100. Then an increment of 100. So the major unit is going to be 100. That's it. So now it looks like this and then place the chart to the left of the bullet on the slide with the title participation. So just copy and then just go to the slides, find a slide with participation. So as they mentioned here, so left of the bullet. So we just need to simply move them just like that and then we'll paste our chart over here. So we'll just move this all chart. Make sure our values are clearly visible. Now let me just fix this one as well as they have mentioned. So no words in the chart are split. All the data and labels are fully visible. No legends and the chart and the content do not overlap any slide item. So this is how it will look like. And then add the following text as a speaker notes to the slide with the participation. So just click this one, copy, and then click on the notes page. And in the same slide, include this notes page. And then after you need to print only this slide. So simple, just click on file, print, Okay, so once you click on print, then you can just simply print that specific slide, like for example, this one. But when you're printing, it should be with the uh, speaker notes. So not for page, should be with the notes page, something like that. Okay, and then the next step is to save the presentation and then print the presentation as a handout with six slides to the page and then next one will be uh, six slides per page something like this so that's all from the presentation part of this video and this question paper hope you have learned how to create the master slide and include the features and item into that thanks for watching and please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates